We all tend to be inspired by different individuals. When we see a sports personality, sometimes we get impressed and we say we want to be like them. Another time we watch a TV program or a movie and we see a famous actor or an artist or an Ashid singer or a pop star and we get impressed and we think, oh, I wish I could be like them. But if we want success in this world and success in the hereafter, the true role models that we ought to follow are the companions of Rasulullah Because about them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنهم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was well pleased with them and they were pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we want to be successful in this world and in the hereafter and earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ought to follow the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a very beautiful verse says, من المؤمنين رجال صدقوا ما عاهدوا الله عليه فمنهم من قضى نحبه ومنهم من ينتظر وما بدلوا تبديلا Among the believers are men who have been true to their covenant with Allah Of them some have completed the vow and some still await but they have never changed their determination in the least The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was talking to Sayyidina Abdul ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنه one day and he said, Ya Ghulam, O oh son, Ya Ghulam, O oh child, Yahfadillah, Yahfadak. Yahfadillah, Yahfadak. Be aware and preserve the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will protect you. Yahfadillah, Fajahak. Be aware of the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everywhere in front of you in your life. Wa'alam. لو أن الناس اجتمعوا على أن ينفعوك بشيء لا ينفعوك إلا ما كتب الله لك. That know that if the whole of humanity would were to gather to harm you in any way, they will not be able to harm you if Allah سبحانه وتعالى does not will it. وعلم لو أن الناس اجتمعوا على أن يضروك بشيء. And know that if the whole of humanity were to gather to harm you in any way. They will not be able to do it other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills. Mus'ab ibn Umayr was one of the young men of Makkah who was the most spoiled. He was the most wealthy. He used to wear the nicest clothes. He used to wear like today the Dolce and Gabbana. He used to wear the Gucci. He used to wear the Versace. He used to wear all the nicest things. He used to drive the best horse, like the Lamborghini horse, you know, and he had the Ferrari camel. Not very fast, but it still looks good, right? He used to have all these things. And one day, he accepted Islam. He accepted Islam, and when his parents found out that he accepted Islam, what did they do? They boycotted him. They said that if you don't give up Islam, we will disown you. Get out of our house. When I read about the Sahabas, one of the greatest qualities was that they put the Akhirah, the next world, in front of them at all times. It was as though the Sahabas could see the next world. It was as though they could see the Day of Judgment, the Akhirah in front of them. This is how they act, this is what drove them. They were constantly rushing towards the Akhirah, rushing towards good deeds. That will give them reward on the day of judgment. That would save them from the hellfire. The Prophet said, "Man ra'a minkum munkara, falyuqidhiruhu biyadi. Fa illa mi yastaqi, fa bi lisani. Fa illa mi yastaqi, fa bi qalbi. Wa dalika abhafu al-iman. That whoever sees an evil, let him." Change it with his hand. If not, if he's unable to do that, let him speak. Change it with his tongue. If not, let him hate it in his heart. And that is the weakest of the man.